What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off up on last time, we have captured Warsaw and a couple of enemy stacks or small enemy forces have wandered within our grasp. So I'm going to take this opportunity to destroy them um, with causing the least amount of damage to my men. So let's quickly get this battle under we'll miss an opportunity to attack or to intercept some armies earlier on. But let's do not want to fight and fight a battle large armies on both sides of a river in a river battle because that seems like a recipe for some armies will be from which armies will be on one side which armies will be on the other but it's never really worth gambling otherwise you'll end up just you know, otherwise you'll never end otherwise you'll always end up just getting shafted really so let's line these troops up here, here, here. And my Grenadier Musketeers. Fairly simple lay down, just because it's not a complicated battle. Got a lot of men back here. Turn the sec bands off. Turn the sec bands fire at will off. And let's stretch these guys out as some melee troop reserves. We've got a couple of units of howitzers. You. Awesome. Let's open up. Ah, oh, they are actually on, on our extreme flank. So let's take... Probably you two. And just pivot. And let's probably dump a our, dump our unit of Janice and Grenadiers up here as well. These guys aren't going to be around for very long. <laughs> This is what this is what happens when you wander too close let's get our mamelukes involved let's go and intercept this unit of red air guards that just got absolutely obliterated field artillery focus on general poor old prussians They were drawn into the debate. March on. So those quick climbing houses. No, there's field artillery. Again, they're still just going to focus on the general's bodyguard. Well, notionally, they should be focusing on the general's bodyguard. Howitzers, on the other hand. Um, I think these guys are going to be... They're going to try and intercept my infantry. Fusiliers are... They're going to do well. They are going to do well because they are... Fusiliers are quite capable melee troops. But to be honest, there's just not that many of them. Chase them down. But what I want is to swing the door shut on this enemy penetration here. You guys in Seth General's bodyguard. You guys, to be honest, limber up. My howitzers can. Oh, you guys. Nah. Limber up. Get over here ready to support this action against the Prussians. Because the Prussians do beat us man for man. capable so that's why shifting our guns so that we can actually support them is pretty important just get everyone moving 
managed to kill the general's bodyguard, or do a lot of damage to them, we've killed the general. They can chase down these fusiliers. Where's my Mameluke guards? So they're going to get, they're going to be in position for our opening volleys to do some good damage. The gunners aren't going to be as useful. Let's bring our general over. You guys drop into square because these are Death's Head Hussars. And they're no slouches. Well, I mean, they are when they're confronted with two infantry squares who can't do anything about them. Who they can't do anything about, I should say. Uh, those guys, though. Hussars are a bit more uh, potent. You're going to be in a good position to picket some of these Death's Head Hussars. Counter charge these Hussars here with my Mameluke Guards. So that was a bit ballsy, wasn't it? Push up. Charge my cavalry on. Unlimber the guns. Although the quick line range isn't great, it's still good enough to be getting on with. Keep an eye out for these cavalry defences. Charge my Mammoth Guards into the 3rd Regiment of Foot, Miesenplatzer. You guys come around to also provide them support, chiefly because these guys are within quicklime range, so there is no immediate need for support on the front line. Especially as we have pretty overwhelming pretty overwhelming firepower as it is. Yeah, there go the marines. I want to break this infantry unit though, that's what I want to do. break the infantry unit so I can pick off men in the rear without worrying too much about this stray capable infantry unit. The wave ring because that's a lot of cavalry. Come on, I'm not really worried about killing anyone else but the marines. Oh, I could get my general over here to do that. Let's position my cavalry ready to respond. You guys ought to do some really good work into the flank of these marines. Go on, general. Chase down those marines. To be honest, you better chase them down too. Guerrilla mercenaries don't really care about. It's that unit of marines that I'm worried about. I'm not worried about, but what I would like to kill most. Turn off my artillery. Turn off. Damn right, continue. Turn off fire at will. Let's 
too bad. Those marines are going to escape. But will these marines? Nope. Done for. Good. So it's a fairly cheap of knocking out a thousand odd men. That's another siren. That was an ambulance that went straight past my house. I hope not looking. I hope they're not looking for this address. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Uh, ooh, German Rebellion. There is German Rebellion. Look at that. German Republic. Let's see if the Prussians can put down the Rebellion. Or if... Uh, well, they probably will. It looks like the Rebellion's pretty... Stood. And if they don't put it down quickly, then... Who knows? Maybe we'll get a new... They'll get a new, uh, new enemy. See, obviously right now lots of these... Uh, sorry, I should have, I just had to send a, a message to someone while it was on my mind. Um, but it looks like well, lots of the Prussians are... Oh no, don't kill the rebels. Keep the rebels. But yeah, I really do need to, to keep... Uh, now I've got this momentum going in Europe, I do need to push and keep it going rather than... Rather than stop potentially letting them build up their forces again. Although now I've got bigger cities on the border, then I should theoretically be able to generate more. Uh... Ooh! <laughs> the Germans won! We're fighting against the German Republic. Well, let's see how things change. I doubt things will change. We will stay enemies with them. It would be interesting, though, if they did try, try to sue for peace. Because if they did, would I do it? And I'd say, well, maybe. I might use that as an opportunity to push through and annihilate the Austrians. Then maybe push against someone like Sweden to secure my northern flank and continue operations in the Med and start to create a bit of a strategic pincer going on. That would be interesting. But I'm not going to make peace with them unless they action it first. I'm not going to make peace with them. Uh, they have to offer me peace. But I severely doubt that's what's going to happen. Works well, on strike and call then. That's fine. Now they're okay. Whoa. Can I send you out? Yeah, you can garrison that port. Can I send you out? Yep, yeah, garrison that port. Well, I suppose it does make this... <laughs> Capturing these does make this shipyard slightly superfluous. So I may as well just dismantle both of these that aren't actual major shipyards. Instead build. Start to build my fleet in the Baltic. You're pretty replenished. I mean, you can get knocked out with pretty much anything. My armies are pretty. My armies are in pretty good nick. Okay, you push against those guys. Then march up to here and replenish. You can build a madrasa. See, that's the unfortunate thing when you have these battles with against armies that have many supporting arms because what you end up doing is you damage a l you attrit a lot more armies than just the ones you're fighting with 
then you can become a craft workshop. Like this, really, I want to move you away from this fight and probably go like that. You probably push forward. Do they? Will they intercept you? Nope. But I want to move them out of range, so hopefully I can take the smaller army and hit this warband alone. Apparently he lost to 600 men. I do have my general back here. He can recruit more of a specific sieging army, which I probably, which I definitely will want. My sixty-four pounders, not my bombardment mortars. Uh, just good old twenty-four pounders would be good. Get some Janissary musketeers. Let's get some. Get some Nizam. And they'll start to be built. We've got some new towns, which are always good. So let's get these on to be industrial. Let's keep the industrial revolution going. Let's keep checking our road situation. I mean, by now, they should have pretty good infrastructure. Okay. I do have plans in this area. First, I do want to spend some money in America because the right now all the infrastructure is look fairly low level, so it's quite cheap. Just cancel that. Let's get get good roads going in here. Lots more new buildings. We've got our fortifications in Greece because the AI seems to like attacking Greece. Then this army under Mr. Hooker, you get out into the Aegean so these men can repair. One more turn to getting another bunch of first rates. I mean, it's still Prussia, but it's the Republican Prussia, it's the Prussian Empire. And they are war weary, and I can understand that because we are kicking ass. Um, but what's. It'd be interesting to fight you, because I think that would draw the garrison into fight. But what I want to do is take this army that's in pretty good nick, go hit Godlob Feish, and let's go and attack these two straggling units here and push. Let's get ready to push the remaining, the remaining um, armies. Push the remaining armies over the river. Right. Let's position our guns. Two units of grenadiers in the center. Another set of guns on this flank. Well, that's a pretty bad spot, actually. Drop two more units of line. So I could set this unit of guns out further on the flank. I can only afford one unit of Nizam per flank. Not for total protection, we do have melee units. Got some fairly got, got my interesting hand mortars. Got my skirmish cavalry, got my skirmishes, and I've got my cavalry. Got one more unit of Nizam maybe to deploy? No we don't. Then we've got our howitzers to rock and roll. I mean, obviously. Oh no! Howitzers. Sorry, everyone. Audio hiccup. This is mildly concerning. With the Austrians coming in so far on the extreme flank. But realistically, it's not going to cause a major problem. 
push up our cavalry. Yep, here it is. You preemptively form square. My Sipahi are going to run closer to home while I run my Janissaries over here. My hand mortars are going to pop up and surprise them. The lancers. Now broke up their cavalry assault fairly well. Canister shot the light hussars, please. Retarget our artillery to support the left. Pull our cavalry back. Artillery bombard these troops because it is not as safe to push forward as I assumed. Get my Semat Janissary into the household cavalry. You guys can limber up and pivot towards new enemy you need to go over there and oh the house of cavalry is actually dead disregard you need to run around this cavalry unit the militia have walked into our gunners sights these guys aren't even firing by rank. It's the heavy cavalry crash into their line. Be wary of the Swiss pikes. Now oh, they knocked out one of my gun crews. Quick climbs coming in. You guys form square. There's so much Janissaries are nearby. Well, they're going to charge in now. You guys aren't reloaded yet. Too bad they're going to get towards my howitzers, but not quite in. Just avoid their pikemen. Take these two units, pull them across. Semit Janissaries get out of the way. And is that infantry be ready? Pikemen are done, so let's get my. Cavalry to take him out. Oh, quick climb. You men man your guns. You start to try and knock out some of these more frustrating units. This gun crew attempt to do some counter battery. They're dead. You guys limber up. Get my cavalry to knock out this militia unit. And let's relocate the bulk of my army. So these guns back here are picking off their artillery crews or at least attempting to these cavalrymen should destroy this militia unit my delis are in and my sipahi are in silly sound bugs again 
but we've got our opportunity to engage. Let's hit the Thurheim Regiment. The 32nd. They march along in a fairly safe position. Okay, based on where they're going, my Sipahi, go take out their gunners. Come on, it's only militia. You guys should be enough to take him out. Uh, you with quick climb target. Oh, you can't target them all the way back there. Hit that line infantry guard unit. Field artillery here. It's the start of some massive bluff where well, they've pushed up into a fairly silly position. Okay, you can target the 13th foot. See, this is what I call quite a good win. Being able to uh, kill all these artillery units. The rest of them can Damage is damage to them, really, but it's the artillery crews, the heavy horse artillery and so on. That's what I really want to take out. Because these units are just... As far as the artillery units go, oh, too bad they've managed to escape. Come on, knock out them. Chase down the garrison guards. So they're just militia, don't, so I don't really care. Let's just run my cavalry through. Good, I am starting to get artillery onto the actual targets. So Although I'm going to focus fire them, because over here they've just got huge amounts of musketry. some marines there but let's knock out these guards and then go hit the marines although so do have this line infantry unit back here that can cause problems to be honest where's my general hit that unit of marines Guards. Might be time to really switch all these guys over to round shot and set them to bombard the 37th. No focus on the guards. Push you guys up. To be honest, let's push you guys towards this infantry over here, which fortunately doesn't look like it's going to intervene to try and protect their allies. More than happy to let the Austrians get massacred. Okay, there they go. It's just the line infantry guards left. Uh, my Sipahi routed. Probably couldn't handle handle the guards. So let's just hit the hit the guardsmen from multiple angles, or we'll hit the, the fry corps from multiple angles. Especially as they're trying to uh, reposition themselves. Probably want to take all these guys. And to be honest, just stop them from shooting each other. Throw these guys into the combat here. Well, 
There we go. Uh, you can stop shooting. These irregulars are about to get bayonet charged, so they won't do so well. They've been hit at the tree line. Obviously, I want my Nizam and my Janissary Musketeers to get in there as quickly as possible to support my cavalry. As they're all charging the wrong way. There we go. The Musketeers have got it. As they hop over the fence into combat. Butcher the 37th. Although they're standing up fairly well. Um, it's probably because they're not completely surrounded the way they should be. Some of them are actually coming back. Okay, let's get my general back over here. Let's get the Deli Horseman out of this action. No, all of you attack. Attack those guys. Well, actually, let's make... We're going to continue. You guys hold off. Sipahi. Go hit the Grenadier Guards. Deli Horsemen, continue with the 37th. You guys are getting into position to chase down the wide regiment or the weed regiment yeah, they just look like infantry for now and there we go we're gonna get some good damage done I mean grand we've taken a bit of a pummeling as well but you know I can replace my losses pretty easily As the other general units entering about to enter the field. Uh, your guys have routed. It's so got three Grandier Guards, two left. They're both over here, which is lovely. Can you charge the Irregulars and let's get the Delhi Horsemen? Ah, uh, they're, they're wavering because they're so tired. Can you come over here and help your general? Rid the world of the 31st Regiment of Foot. Good stuff. Decisive victory. That's the words we like to see. There we go. We've got 730 men, which is more than we would like, but those armies have been destroyed. So we now have... These armies this side of the river. And we'll draw them into a. F Actually, I'm going to auto those. We lost a lot of men there. Although mostly from limited units, which is good. How much movement points do you have? Okay, if you march up. Okay, if you get out of the town, and then if you guys... Although you're pretty knackered, actually, really. You guys get into the town. If I attack you... Okay, it brings in the garrison, I think, as the reinforcing army. And that looks pretty good to me. Um, but looking at the timer, or at least we remember the, what this timer is, plus what the last timer was, I think it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the push towards Gdansk with a serious amount of firepower behind it. Radio. Cheers everyone.